I'm here today to talk to you about Uconnect Script, which is an environment that allows you to execute JavaScript on uBlock short range modules. For the demonstration today, we will use a Nina B3 evaluation kit. Nina B3 is a Bluetooth low energy module from uBlocks that is capable of executing JavaScript software. Up here, we see the actual module and the evaluation kit has an Arduino kit compatible interface, which allows us to connect different peripherals. And for the sake of the demonstration today, we will connect an embed shield, which has a number of sensors and IO units that we can use. Let's connect this and get started. The chosen development environment for developing in JavaScript with uBlock short range modules is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is a free and easy to use environment that is also quite well known among developers. To facilitate JavaScript development with uBlox modules, we have developed an extension that will assist you in handling the uBlox modules. This extension, uBlox Script ID, can be found in the Microsoft Marketplace and you can also install it from file if you don't find it there. You can just install from a v6 file. This extension will add a number of commands uh, reachable via the combination control shift P where you see all the commands that are added. And the commands are also visible here in the help and we will take a look at them. So you can select serial port. Ubox modules they work over a serial port interface. You need to tell the system which port you've connected your module to. Send 80. You can send 80 commands to the device. You can send all your script files to the device. You can also retrieve files from the device and clear files from the device. And you can start something called a serial monitor. The serial monitor is an output area that you can see at the bottom of your development environment, where output from, from the module will be seen, debug prints and other output. So you can start and stop this serial monitor. Run script combines a number of the actions, so it will download your script and start the serial monitor and reset the module, which will trigger execution of your script. You can select a, a working directory from where to send files to to the device. Normally you don't need to do that. The default is the root of the workspace. But if you want a folder structure with, for example, documentation, etc., it could be use useful. And you can restart the device. You can toggle the DTR pin, which is one of the pins in the UART interface. This will help you change modes on the module. And you can also send single files. Instead of downloading all files in the working environment, you can send one single file. So to show you the work, normal workflow, we will create a simple Hello World example to illustrate how you work with this environment. So first we will select a folder and then we'll start adding files to our project. So the first file that we will add is an init file. So we have an init.js. And this file is always the first file that the execution environment on the uBox module will look for. So you always need an init.js. And from this file, you can load other files or you can have your whole logic in there. But for the sake of illustration, we will actually start by loading another file. So we will uh, create a file later that's called hello.js and load that from here. So we load hello.js and then we create it. And in hello.js we will quite simply print hello world. save it. So now we have our hello world example and the first thing we need to do in order to execute this is to select the correct serial port. So we'll show choose this serial port and then we'll quite simply run the example. So 
run script. So now the files are downloaded to the device and the module is restarted. This is the command to restart the module. And we see our printout down here in the output area. So this is how simple it is to get started with JavaScript.